Hi, this is Chris from Digital Rim. Uh, today in this episode, we're going to teach you how to create a Christmas tree in 3D using Blender. Let's get started. First, we're going to make sure we have the add-on for creating trees in Blender. So, what we're going to do is go here to File, going to User Preferences, Add-ons, and then we're going to do a search for Sapling Tree Gen sapling tree generation you can start the inner SAP and then if it's check check it or if it's check you're good if it's not checked go ahead and check it and save user settings alright so now we're going to get into the uh, tree part so now that we have this options available on our curve settings we're going to go ahead and apply them so we're going to go down here to add curve sapling tree gin and go ahead and click that oh yeah by the way I have my hoodie on today it's kinda cold it's kinda cold today so a little bit below freezing so I have my hoodie on so don't mind it UCF but let's continue to move forward so after you push add curve sapling tree gin you'll see this curve pop up that's kinda the shape of a tree so that's your good a good starting point that's where we're gonna start so, with that selected, uh, please please keep in mind this area right here is what you're going to use to create your tree. Now, if you if you go into edit mode, if you happen to go into edit mode, you'll lose these settings, which you'll have to start over from scratch. So try your best not to go into edit mode while you're trying to get to the starting point in creating your uh, Christmas tree. So let's continue. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to settings. And in settings, we're going to start off with geometry. As you see, it kind of goes up the list. So it's the geometry, branch radius, branch splitting, branch growth, pruning, leaves, armature, animation. Mostly, we're going to just deal with geometry through the leaves. Probably not even pruning, just geometry through the leaves. So we're going to start with geometry, and it's going to help us establish a shape for our tree, which we're going to go with like a cone shape. So what we're going to do is first, what kind of we're going to set up what kind of tree we want so in the load presets here in the bottom you can select different options of different types of trees that are available so like willow tree you get this hanging type of tree but we want a small pine so we're going to select, select small pine you're going to focus in um, we focus by selecting and pushing F and it focuses on what's selected and then we are going to go to shape here custom shape we're not going to have that we're going to go with a conical shape conical being like cone for a Christmas tree uh, secondary shapes we're going to go with the cylindrical for the uh, branches so we don't have to worry about custom shapes because we already set it at conical and for the secondary branches we're going to go ahead and um, start to distribute these rings to make a um, to make a Christmas tree shape so we're gonna do about let's say 10 rings so that's 10 individual breaks in this in the in the tree trunk here and then we do the distribution here so when you slide it all the way down all of them distribute to the bottom when you slide it all the way up it distributes to the top but we're gonna keep it all even all the way around so we're gonna stay at one and then we're, that's pretty much set for geometry so let's go ahead and go to the branch radius in the branch radius here um, the main thing I'm looking for is just the radius scale so if you want to scale the the tree trunk up a little bit at the bottom this is where you do that so we're just gonna scale at the base of the at the base of the tree we're just gonna scale it up just a little bit I mean you don't have to you can leave it at one and we'll just go ahead and leave it at one but that just shows what that's used for so but we'll leave it at one we'll do a uh, move on to branch growth <clears throat> excuse me so in branch growth this is basically what exactly what it sounds like how far out the branches grow so let's go ahead and play with these settings again you can you can toggle these settings however you um, decipher whatever the best tree is that you think it'll look like whatever looks the best to you I mean there's no right answer so 
so we're going to go length. Now, one thing I'd like to point out, you see there's four different options here for branch growth. So it is basically if we go into if we go into um, branch splitting before we go to branch growth, you can see there's different levels. So level one is the trunk. Level two are the branches that come out. Level three will be considered like the twigs. So the twigs that come out of the branches. Um, we are going to keep it at level three to keep the render um, render renderability, for lack of better words, renderability, uh, keep my computer just flowing and being able to uh, run fast. So we're going to just keep it at level three. Where we don't have to worry about a base split or split height. That's going to split the trunk and we don't want to do that. We want a good Christmas tree here. Um, we'll keep the relative length on for now. Um, so the branches, how the branches are broken up. So this is level one, which is the trunk. Level two, branch, twig, twig of on top of twigs. So we don't really have to worry about level four. And we don't have to worry about branch level one, but we do worry about level two. And these are the ones that are coming out, the main branches that are coming out. So this is the amount of branches that we will have available for this tree. And I think 50, 50 will be a good number for that. And that gives us a nice, a nice full Christmas tree. You see the shape is coming along here. Gives you a nice full Christmas tree. We're going to go ahead and boost. I think that's nice. Boost the, um, the twigs to about eight. So it's about, so it's saying eight twigs per branch and then 50 branches per trunk. So that's what we're essentially getting math-wise. Um, so you have the segment split, split angles, and all these different options you can play around with. Um, the only thing I will do want to toggle is the random. I want to I don't want it necessarily original, and I don't want to rotate, but I want them a bit, a bit of randomness. So it just gives it more randomness because I really want to fill in the inside here so it'll be a nice and full in the middle so let's just let's just rotate around the tree here and see what that looks like and it's looking pretty good it's looking kind of kind of chunky on the bottom I'm we'll we'll work with that though so after branch splitting, then we'll go to branch growth. We kind of skip this. We kind of skip this step before. Then we'll go to branch growth, where we can kind of pull these these long ones back in a little bit, so we can create our shape a little better. So similar to the similar to before, you have the trunk, branches, twig, twig. So we're gonna start with the trunk. You can see length of the trunk will go up. But we're going to keep it at one. I like the I I like where it's at right now. So we're going to bring these brand these main branches that are coming out of the trunk in, and I think that'll give us a better shape because you see we're coming out and we're getting more of this cone shape. But then we'll just bring our twigs to be fuller, so we get longer twigs. So when we add the leaves. There'll be a nice, full-looking Christmas tree here. And I might pop the branches up one more, just to make it more, a little more full. And I think that's nice. That's a nice, nice Christmas tree. I mean, at this point, we don't have any leaves on this, so just imagine like a, a Christmas tree with all the pines that have fallen off or a burnt Christmas tree. What that would look like, just imagine it. And that's pretty much what you want to shoot for here. And I think this is pretty nice. This looks pretty good. Um, we have all these other options of messing with the branches. Um, I don't think that's necessary for this tutorial, but again, you can you can play around with the settings as you like and you know, just pretty much get it to where you want. So the next thing we're going to do is add 
some leaves. So we're going to go to settings, leaves, as I did, and then click show leaves and toggle that on. And it's going to, it might take a second to load up. So while it's loading, we're just going to, oh, there we go. Never mind, I didn't even have a chance to talk. So settings are showing right here. We're going to change the mode to solid so we can see a little better. But now you can see how, how our Christmas tree kind of looks. Excuse me, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I think to get a to get a better feel of the tree. Um, well, let's first finish uh with the leaves. So, well, so we can see the leaves better. Let's go ahead and select the leaves, and we're just gonna apply a material to this leaf. I actually created a a leaf material. There, it's not necessarily a, a any type of material. It's just a diffuse with the color. So it's um. Uh, it's a procedural shader, nothing special, just a color added. And that's pretty much what we're going to do with that. And we're also going to do that for the trunk. Make sure not to go into edit mode, because if you go into edit mode, you can't go back to the settings and reset and continue to tweak your tree how you want to. But we're going to just do this tree bark material. And again, it's just a diffuse with a color added to it. Nothing special, um, no extra, no special elements. So we could just get a better feel for what this tree looks like. And I actually, what we're going to do, we are going to, we're going to split this mode and we're going to have one where it shows us a render and one where it shows us a, where we can tweak it in real time. Turn on the studio here. And the studio is nothing but a plane with the sun. Like it's not nothing special that I set up. Uh, no special lighting, no image-based lighting. Just a pretty much a sunlight and a plane, just to give us a background to see what this tree looks like as we build it. So I want to go back to the leaves here. And actually, the tree doesn't look that bad. I'm not, to be totally honest with you, the tree does not look that bad. Um, you can continue to tweak the settings. You can continue to get it to exactly where you want and then pretty much finish it up. And then once, we, once you get, get it to a nice point, um, go to video number two of this series um, where we'll start to model the ornaments to go on the tree and think of something else after that to go with the tree, maybe some presents or something like that. But we'll just continue to go along this process of creating a Christmas tree and decorating with ornaments. So I'll see you in the next video when we start to model our ornaments to put on this tree. Have a good one. Later. Bye.